so examiner's question is what is the gcs score glasgow comma scale so you all know very well e v m e for eye opening b for verbal response and m is the motor response based on that whether the eye opening is spontaneous to the speech if you are calling ramaya ramaya if the ramaya opens the eyes or to the pain you pinched ramaya and ramaya opened the eyes or no response even if you pinch or you call also ramaya is not open the opening the eyes they are the ones that is how you elicit the gcs so considering this it is 13 is the score is what you need to basically appreciate invariably two to three scores will be asked in the neat pg exam doctor you have to be doubly sure about now with regard to the sequence what is the correct sequence whenever you are managing a case um which is having a pulselessness so first thing is assess the patient's response call for the help check the carotid and then start the cpr is considered to be the correct order in which you rescue a patient in emergency is what you need to basically remember so check the patient for a response if he has a pulse or signs of life check that if he has no pulse or signs of life then you call the resuscitation team and you start the cpr immediately and if he is not breathing and he is having a pulse that means he has a respiratory arrest so you need to keep the ventilation and check for a circulation and uh, you need to give 10 breaths for every 10 breaths you have to check the circulation now the next question in aims november i'm very happy you're all online very good every day we are removing the discussion video from uh, the youtube the whole purpose is we offer this interactive session live broadcast and uh, take you to the u medico subscriptions and then encourage you to buy the subscriptions so that's the reason there is nothing non commercial about it i'm honest with you but there are some students who requested that sir by the time we can join the test 5 to 6 whatever the questions test is happening we are not getting time to participate in that we love to participate it like a test so please at least retain the test part discussion it's all right you can put it in uh, the uh you medico video subscription so there's a reason for test we will have one link and for the video we will have one link interactive session and we will remove the interactive session so please bear with us so foley scatheter french what does it mean it is a diameter of the catheter which is very very important number 8 french and 10 french are the ones which are used for the children can the so many links only two links will be there one will be the test and we will retain it on the youtube channel and the other will be the video link right interactive video that will be removed after the discussion so um very happy to see 151 online number 14 number 16 french they are used for the female adults number 20 and 22 french are usually used for the male adults is what you have to basically remember now you are doing a surgical checklist on a patient which is not required in the surgical checklist is a very very important question you need to take a oral consent the site where you are operating marking should be taken and you should be doubly sure and confirm the patient's identity sometimes certain names like mallayya srinivas shriram so these are such a frequently abdul in the muslims uh, muslim patients 
and John in the Christian patients, they're so common that you must be doubly sure which John you are operating, which Ram you are operating. So that's very, very important. So this is the surgical safety list, like sign in before induction of anesthesia, after the induction, when you are time out, when you are sign out, what are the things to be checklisted is a clear way. In fact, creating a checklist is uh, one of the rare uh, uh, good disciplined execution uh, method that actually high yield topic list that we give you also is like a checklist. Did I finish this topic, this topic, this topic? That is how the checklist comes. The next question of the AIMS November 2017 is balanced resuscitation in the trauma management is what? What is the meaning of a balanced resuscitation? Maintaining a permissible hypotension to avoid bleeding is basically called the balanced resuscitation in the trauma management is what you have to basically remember. Suppose if you don't bring a proper hemostasis to plug those bleeding vessels and you happen to raise the BP, then the bleeding become excessive. So that's the reason maintaining a permissible hypotension to avoid bleeding. Now a gross specimen has been given to you. Examiner hopes that this doesn't remind you something from uh, McDonald's that you pick up, right? What is this? These are the polyps in the gallbladder, the gross appearance, which you have to be doubly sure about. Now, doctor, what is the most common presentation by which a desmoid tumor, which arises from the body wall, um, typically, how does it basically present? So you should remember, um, Ethan Hunt says, why not? In the earlier question, why is it not a, a cholesterolosis or a strawberry gallbladder? Once you see the gross appearance of the um, specimen of even the other three also, then you will never forget how they look like. Anyway, polyp is visible in that uh, picture. So it is the abdominal mass which is considered to be the most important uh, presenting feature. So basically dermoid can arise in any skeletal muscle, but most commonly in the anterior abdominal wall and the shoulder girdle. And uh, this is how a dermoid presents like an abdominal mass. And this is how when you do the imaging, you can see the presence of the dermoid tumor is what I wanted to um, reinforce to all of you. A 10 year old child with pain and mass in the right lumbar region with no, with um, he was brought to emergency with right hip flexed and the x-ray shows spine changes. What is the most likely diagnosis is the very important question. As we discussed, psoas muscle is one of the strong flexors of the hip joint. When you lie down and draw your thigh nearer to your abdomen, that is flexion. If you simply lie flat, the way you lie down in a beach while basking in the sun, that is the extension of hip. So, so mass when it is irritated due to a retroperitoneal mass or abscess, it goes into contraction and brings the hip into flexion. So, that points to the pathology to be a psoas abscess and the hip flexion is a very important clinical clue in this case. So this is how you can see kidneys and there is a abscess and this is the psoas muscle and this is the typical retroperitoneal abscess which is causing the psoas to irritate and the irritated psoas typically lead to the hip to go into flexion is what you have to basically remember. You have put an intercostal drainage tube and connected the lower part to a underwater seal. How do you know whether that ICD tube is functioning or not? So what is ICD tube basically doing? 
whenever you have a pneumothorax can you quickly give me a uh, the whiteboard so whenever you have a um, pneumothorax what is happening in pneumothorax you have the pleural cavity and the air has entered between the visceral and parietal pleura and all this air here is compressing the lung so what did you do you passed the intercostal drainage tube and connected to a underwater seal so it is supposed to develop a suction pressure that will be able to suck the air out of the pleural cavity so that pleural cavity once more collapses and then the lung will be able to expand so how do you know whether this intercostal drainage tube is it blocked is it functioning or not you can observe the movement of the air water column in the tube during the respiration which gives you a important clue as to whether intercostal drainage tube is functioning or not is what i want to underscore to all of you so when do you want to remove the chest tube intercostal drainage tube patient will also be asking you sir when will you remove remove it the moment in that underwater seal yeah you didn't record before that yeah the lung fully expanded and you need to get a chest x ray 12 to 24 hours after the last air leak so these are the important uh, indications where you need to remove the intercostal drainage tube yeah now 